heading to Denmark this morning for a Friday fish fry. Emily Dean <laughs> joins us now with more. Hi, Em. <laughs> Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. Yeah, we are checking out Schuster's this morning. It's more than 100 years old. And where I'm standing used to actually be bowling lanes. And now they have a banquet hall in here. And we're going to introduce you to some of the people that you'll see out here because this is still a family run business. Leon and Teresa Schuster here this morning, their son in law, Jason. And look at the two kiddos ready to dive in to some <laughs> kneecaps. John, are you having some fun this morning? Yes. Oh, look at Audrey. She's going right in there. We wanted to show you the right way to eat a kneecap, and they already started. We were waiting until the end of the segment, but they wanted to jump right in. Jason, that's the best part about this all. You have family style for folks. If they have families and want to come out here, let's talk about this spread that you have. Sure. It all starts with the chicken. Um, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Also on Friday, we also have the fish that you can combo with. And then on Saturday, we have the barbecued ribs. And that goes with the chicken, too. With the chicken, also. The one that's also that's really great, the sides that you have that you make, the, a lot of these are homemade. Sure. It's the homemade coleslaw, mashed potatoes, homemade sauerkraut, and dressing. And if you can show our camera, you have this uh, booklet behind the bar. Tell me what we're seeing right there. Sure. This is the, the original ad from when we started with the roasted food. Uh, with some of the original pricing, the Friday night fish used to be 65 Whoa. cents. <laughs> Chicken plates were $1.25. Oh. And yeah. What was, yeah, was that in cents. the 60s or but, what? Yeah, that was like in the 60s, wow. Rachel and Pete, that that price used <laughs> to be. John just said, when can we eat our um, kneecaps? Yeah, He's yeah, ready. Yeah. You guys, how about you dive in? Show us how you would eat a kneecap. What's the, okay, Audrey just went for it. John, <laughs> let's see what you're doing. He's going, oh my gosh. Jason, I bet you're proud right now as a father just to watch these children dive into these kneecaps. Teresa, Leon, you know, seeing the sixth generation out here, what does that mean for you, Leon, to see your grandkid? I'm hoping to see him, see him in here someday. <laughs> see him working. Yes. Right now they're taste testers for yes. it, right? And what would you say? Teresa, is that the proper way if, if anyone's watching, they come out here, should they eat a kneecap just like that? However they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. are, are you guys enjoying it? Audrey, can you tell me about what that tastes like? How good is it? Like candy. <laughs> like candy. Uh, let me tell you, I had one and it was awesome. I just want to go back to the side dishes and everything we have here because even the gravy, I mean, a lot of the homemade stuff and the recipes from years and years back. Can you just tell our viewers about that again? They make their own broth. It's not a pre-made gravy mix. They make their own dressing from scratch. We grind our own cabbage. They make their own vinaigrette dressing. It's pretty much everything except for the potatoes probably. Yeah. But so you can come out here, have a family style meal, go to our website to learn more. You can eat a kneecap. Okay, I gotta get a picture. Look at the camera, smile at everyone at home. That is the right way to eat a kneecap. All the powdered sugar everywhere. You guys are awesome. Go to our website to learn more. We'll send it back to you. Oh no! Say bye. Bye. See ya. They can't, they're they're too full. Okay, see ya.